Hello there. Ever since childhood, I've always wanted to lay my hands on a squirrel cage lamp. This lamp turned up when I was, as far as I know, still at school. I don't know where I got it from. Probably a junk shop or government surplus store. There's lots of those down Lyle Street and places like that in London, the Tottenham Court Road, Edgware Road, such places as Henry's Radio, Lasky's. These are all places that sold old, old equipment, uh, stuff which had, had become surplus for, from the wartime. Probably talking about the 1960s, that era. Anyhow, this lamp turned up. And let's have a little close. I can give you a close look of what the filament looks like. It's not very clear. Anyhow, suffice to say that I thought I'd finally found my squirrel cage lamp. When I screwed it in, now remember in those days I, you know, probably wasn't as careful as as I am now, I screwed it in to 240 volts and all that happened the filament glowed very dimly red. The heat it gave off was something else, it really gave off heat and as you can see the stem in the centre is blackened. You can also see the, the other filament there, it's a typical squirrel cage filament. Anyhow, to cut a long story short, it wasn't a squirrel cage lamp, it was a Beretta. Now I've mentioned these before in a recent uh, YouTube art, uh, um, article I put in. This is an English version, don't know whether we can see the name, it's made by Osram. Just make the name out. Osram, it's got above it Beretta and these were used in early radio sets they were wired in series with the heaters that well the heaters are the part of the valve which warms them up they warm the cathode up and it's like a um, low emitting filament that goes through all of the, the valves one after another and this lamp or ballast resistor is wired in series to control the amount of current and um, I know from a child that um, my aunt had a radio made by Derwent it, it was a rented one of those days beautiful old set and it had one of these in it and it was then I realised what it was. So it's not a squirrel cage lamp. It is merely a ballast for controlling the amount of current through a circuit. So once again, thanks for looking. You may come across these, I don't know. But um, it certainly confused me. And um, there we are, I've had this lamp quite a long time. A Beretta made by GEC Osram. Thank you for watching.